What is up guys? The hype is here. The hype is now. We got OST finals. We got Bangy West ABI. I was just checking if the music is working. But the ABI brings something which looks like usually you'd expect this from Bangay, which is like balanced with Manzan and the Mungus. And we see Volt I was about to say Voltan with Vol Corona, but like yeah, it is actually that's not that wrong because it could technically still have Volt Switch on a Coco and U turn on Landris and U turn potentially on Greninja, but I don't think that's the main concept of this team. But yeah, you already know the Smog to Chat is going wild. We got 489 people in the chat. 491 with Lord. I think people are linking this game everywhere. But yeah, we see it's the Reflect type of Coco, so this is a team around setup, I assume. But the rocks uh, that ABR throws up turn 1 are huge because the Volt Corona can't just come in and set up that easy with um, when it already loses half its health. So yeah, there's a best of 3 who wins this gets $200 or bucks or however. However you want to say it, call it. And yeah, I'm rooting for ABR. I'm just gonna say it how it is. And okay, it's on Landro, so maybe uh, using his defensive Landro that, pre that he uses pretty often. And he gets a crit through the Reflect, which sucks. So we already know ABR is here. You already know he hexed. Okay, I have to stop saying that. He hexed one of the host Kaido with a crit that he needed in game 3, if I recall correctly, to win the game. Otherwise, he wouldn't even be here, and now he gets the crit on Greninja. That wouldn't have done much, that earthquake. Maybe 30%, 35 because I assume it's a defensive standard lander with helmet. He defogs, um, doesn't get rid of his own screens. Uh, screens, you only defog screens away if you defog on the opposing side. So, like, if maybe I would use defog, the screen would go away. But if Benga uses it, only the rocks on his side go away. So, that was actually tactical planned out if when he made this team. So, he goes hard Coco on a Lele, takes a lot. So, this is a potential Scarf type of Lele. It is Scarf Lele, too, it gets the Coco. Let's go, my dude. You, you got this, my man. Yeah, I think Smolan is, is streaming this on Twitch, and JMP is streaming this. A lot of people are recording this, and mine won't be up before tomorrow, because my fastnet died, so rip. But yeah, if you're still, after you saw this, you're still watching this on my channel, whew, welcome here. We got the juice, we were gonna record the entire series. And yeah, I have a lot of content for you guys. I recorded like six games today or five games of OUPL. Like three or four games I recorded live, a few games I recorded the replay. So we know the Scarf Lady is locked into Moonlight, so he gets basically a kill here with his Morwell, picks up the Lele. So we're gonna see actually a fast paced game as it's already five and four after six turns. So this could potentially have Fire Fang to threaten Scissor, so going Landers is definitely the better play. And I assume we're gonna see the rocks go back up for the Volcarona. Yeah, exactly. Definitely the rocks go back up here. Bengay can either stay in, get some damage off his player off, because he's not earthquaking this turn. Or he goes hard into Volcarona, that's also an option. So he's going for game here. But he has the Mantine to check this Volcarona. He has the potential Haze or Toxic on this. And he can also take every hit and he dodges a Fire Blast. <laughs> Let's go. Good lord. And, that, and he gets a crit. ABR can't stop hexing. <laughs> I mean, Mantine beats Volcarona 1 on 1, I think. But it's just hilarious how he keeps getting all the hex in his favor. This is so hilarious, yeah. We're gonna see if it's Ruth. I assume it's um, HP ground in the last slot since he doesn't have a Duggy to support this. So otherwise, Heatron just walls as a walk if it's not HP ground, and Heatron is pretty common in OU. He brings in the Ladi, predicting a Haze or Scald. Actually, he just Haze, so he wasn't Hazing there. <laughs> and he goes for Scald. He gets the burn, ABR gets every single potential hack, and he's gonna defog the rocks away. We will see if the scissor is pursued, otherwise he's just gonna U-turn or double outbreaking the Volcarona because he doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna get burned, so maybe he will Okay he makes the U-turn play, so he didn't. 
He doesn't get burned, obviously. Because, like, you know, he gets all the luck today. But I'm rooting for him, so I'm fine with that. I don't really care. <laughs> so, he's gonna bring in his Weewal or his Mantine. Maybe I should win this for sure, but like the hex was really annoying. The, the, the crit on the Greninja sucked the most. The hex with Mentum versus Volcarona, I don't think it mattered that much. But yeah, just goes for another skull, gets more chip on the Ladi, and if the Ladi has Roost, it's basically going to do that. HP Fire is an option here, but Mentum is free to. Nah, I think ABI is going to scout for a T Bolt potentially. Because he needs this Mantine. Oh, well, that was risky on ABR's part. What if it had T Bolt? I guess he was looking at Bengay's team. He thought already had the Coco, so T Bolt is maybe not that likely on the Laddie, but I'm not sure. But he stays in, lets the Mantine take a huge hit here. And he doesn't get the burn, so the Mantine getting weakened is actually kind of huge for the Volcarona. But yeah, Volcarona is at 5%, so... In that sense, ABR is fine, so forget what I just said. Like... If there was a Ladias and it had healing wish to bring the Volcarona back, it would be really scary in ABR. I'm pretty sure ABR would never stay in. If Bengay had healing wish and he goes for rocks with the Mawa there, packing the heat. We don't run rocks on land, if we run rocks on Mawa, we get the juice and... So it's probably then... It's either Charlie Volcarona and Zemo Landris or Zemo Volcarona and... Some other Landris set, but I think it's Zemo Landris. The way it has been played and the way that I see rocks on Marvel, I assume it's double land Landris. Especially since he has the greens to support Landris setting up, Volcarona setting up. That makes a lot of sense. Straps the Drake when the Mantan gets sacked off and... The Scissor could have Divock. But it could also be as the U turn. Since uh, Manton is another potential defogger. But yeah, Scissor shows defog. Brings in the Volcarona. Dies to Bullet Punch. Doesn't get the bird. <laughs> so that's like really. Area is not getting the 30% chances against him. Like, he attacked this Volcarona twice. He didn't get the Flame Body. He used Skull to get the burn. But yeah, as I said, it's probably double lands. So the U turns out. Probably into Weaver, and we're gonna see an Ice Shard. I don't think this would be Yachi Berry. I think this would be Z move, yeah. So the Ice Shard should kill since it's offensive Landers. And if it's Yachi Berry, he can. Um, Ice Shard still brings it in range, probably from Bullet Punch. And if not that, he also has a Landers to get up and intimidate. And probably live a hit from full, it's at, not at full, but it's at 95. But yeah, he's gonna go for Ice... Uh, nah, probably Ice will crash, but that can miss. So that's what I, that's why I'm thinking Ice Shard, because he don't want to miss. Yeah, he just goes for Ice Shard, picks up the kill. As that might be banned, ABR takes game one. And Bop, the laddie is gone, and I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna pause and be right back with game t game two, or if I will upload this in all in one. I'm probably gonna pause and be right back with game two, especially since these files are kind of big with this recording program in HD, and I want these. When my net comes back, my net will come back roughly in around 12 hours. And everyone else will already have uploaded this, and I want to get this up ASAP at least, so... If I have a 10 minute video for the first game, I can at least get that up in like 50 minutes or 30 minutes. And not if I upload the entire set and it's like 50 minutes or something... That's gonna take like... One and a half or two hours to upload. So I hope you all enjoyed. Pretty fun game one. Maybe I takes it with some hacks in his favor, which... Definitely kind of sucked, but it's definitely it's entertaining to say the least. So most of you guys probably got a good laugh, laugh out of this. And I'm gonna be right back with game two. I don't think they have started yet. 
But it's really funny how ABR got every single skull burn. He says I get, didn't get flame body burn. And I think he also got a crit with Mantine on the Volk, which shouldn't have mattered too too much. And be right back with game two. Peace out, friends.